let us discuss about redox reactions what are redox reactions how to balance redox reactions let us see first what are redox reactions so the name itself is indicating the reactions where reduction and oxidation so where oxidation and reduction takes place are said to be redox reactions what are redox reactions so reduction as well as oxidation what is reduction reduction means reduce in oxidation state reduce in oxidation state or you can say gain in the electrons gain of electrons gain of electrons how can we define oxidation oxidation means increase in oxidation number oxidation number or else we can say it involves loss of electrons loss of electrons that's the difference between uh, oxidation and reduction so oxidation means always it involves increase in oxidation number that involves gain loss of electrons so reduction means always there will be re reduce in oxidation state or there will be gain of electrons okay now let me explain with one example okay where manganese oxide is undergoing reaction potassium permanganate with oxalic acid and gives manganese 2 plus ion as well as it leaves carbon dioxide carbon dioxide so this is the basic reaction that they are given now you can see in this reaction um, there are two half reactions reduction half reaction and oxidation half reaction let us see first first step what you have to do is find oxidation number of all the components oxidation number what components we have reactants and products in the reactants let's see manganese how can i determine oxygen state of manganese take it as x so x how many oxygens we have minus 4 into what is oxygen state of each oxygen that is minus 2 that equal to minus 1 so x plus x plus minus plus minus becomes minus 8 equal to minus 1 so x is equal to plus 7 so oxidation state of manganese is plus 7 and here it is plus 2 similarly here if you calculate the oxygen state of carbon 2 plus 2x minus 4 to are 8 equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 3 so here it is plus 3 but here it became x minus 4 equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 4 now you write uh, what are the two half cells uh, reactions that we have manganese is converting from plus 7 to plus 2 means there is a reduction in the oxidation state that means it gains electrons to convert from plus 7 to plus 2 so we can call it as a reduction half cell reduction reaction and who is undergoing oxidation here you can see oxalic acid is converting into carbon dioxide here carbon is plus 3 and here it is plus 4 so increase in oxidation number that means it involves loss of electrons so this is oxidation half cell reaction okay you have to first notice which is a reduction half cell reaction and which is oxidation half cell reaction in any redox reactions you will find both oxidation half cell and reduction half cell so in order to find that what you have to do you have to know the oxidation numbers in this way you have to calculate oxidation numbers now let us see how to balance this reaction it's not a balanced reaction how to balance it how to balance a redox reaction i will give you a simple trick first you write two individual half cell reactions first i am using reduction half cell reaction reduction we call them as half cell reactions 
So what is the reduction of cell reaction here? Manganese. Potassium permanganate is converting into Mn2+. Don't write anything. Only write this one. Now you see how many oxygens we have in this case. Four oxygens are there. So you write as four H2O molecules on opposite side. It has to convert into H2O. 4 H2O's. Whenever you write 4 H2O's, how many hydrogens we have excess? 4 oxygens already are there. But it has to uh, have hydrogens also to form H2O. So, how many hydrogens? 4 2's are 8. So, you write 8 H plus ions on the opposite side. Okay. And what else you have to write? See, here it is in plus 7 oxidation state. And here it is in plus 2. So, how many electrons this um, permanganate is gaining to convert into plus 2? It is gaining plus 7 minus 2. So, 7 minus 2 is 5. Who took those 5 electrons? Permanganate took those 5 electrons and converted into magnus 2 plus. So, you have to write those 5 electrons on opposite side. 5 electrons. When it gains 5 electrons, it converts into magnus 2 plus. This is the way first you need to balance half cell reactions individually. I already balanced reduction of half cell reaction. You see, very simple. You see number of oxygens and write those many number of water molecules. In order to balance this, how many hydrogens I have to write on my opposite side? What hydrogens I have to write? H plus ions, 8 H plus. And how many electrons it was gaining? 5 electrons. So I need to write 5 electrons. This is the reduction of half cell. Now next what I have to write? I have to write oxidation half cell reaction also. Oxidation half cell reaction this is a very simple tricky way to balance redox reactions okay so how can i write half cell reaction you just see this equation they will give you in the problem see that and just copy it how this uh, oxalate is converting carbon dioxide okay so how uh, what pro other products i may get in this case in this case what i have to do is i can't write any other product because they have given already carbon dioxide. How many hydrogens are more? You write those many H plus ions in on opposite side. How many H, uh, hydrogens we have on right hand side? Two hydrogens. So write two H plus ions on opposite side. And here it is converting from plus 3 to plus 4. Means how many electrons it can release to convert plus 3 to plus 4? One electron. How many carbons we have? Two carbons we have. So how many electrons it can release in total? Two electrons. Just balance in this way. So write number of H plus ions based on the your reactant on opposite side and how many electrons it can release those many electrons on right hand side. Now what you have to do? You have to write both the reactions together and cancel the possible terms. So for that what you have to check is you check only electrons. Here we have 5 electrons. Here we have 2 electrons. You have to equate them because you need to cancel the electrons. That's our interest. So just take this whole reaction should be multiplied with 2 so that I can get 5 times 2 10 electrons and this whole reaction I'm going to multiply with 5. I'm going to multiply with now write the re rewrite the reactions now third step right after multiplication 10 electrons plus 8 times 2 16 h plus plus 2 times 2 permanganate ions 2 magnus 2 plus plus 8 h2o just a multiplied reduction half cell reaction with 2. Next, oxidation half cell reaction. What is the oxidation half cell reaction? See, I have to multiply with 5. So, on reactant side, 5 oxalic acids converting into 5 CO2 plus 5 times 2, 10 H plus plus 5 times 2, 10 electrons. No, all together, you try to cancel. All together, you just try to cancel. So, 10 electrons, 10 electrons will get cancelled. And see, 16 H plus 10. So, on both opposite side, they have. So, you have to subtract. 16 minus 10 is 6. So, what we are left here, 6 H plus, plus, you write the remaining thing on opposite sides equally. So, from left hand side, same left hand side terms you have to write. Right hand side, right hand side terms. And what else we have on left hand side? 5 oxalic acids H2C2O4 next 
Now on right hand side what we are left with? We are left with m into plus next 8H2O plus 5CO2 plus is it uh, there in this reaction? No, it was already removed. So nothing left over. This is the balanced reaction. This is the balanced redox reaction. Okay, in this way, if you follow this trick by writing the reduction of cell reactions, you can easily balance uh, any type of redox reaction. Hope this uh, method is very helpful to you. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.